purpose of the day is to figure out what we're doing today. We're going to review our last quarter assessments, see how we did, what we can change, and fix them up. Then we're going to write the next, the next assessment, the third quarter assessment. And this last year, I've had the opportunity to work with an organization called Teach Plus, who's partnered with the National Educators Association. And we've been researching the, looking into the, the future of our profession as teachers. And I know there's lots of emotions and people feel different things as we look at this. And a lot of the work that goes into it is around the idea of Section 191 and how we're assessed and evaluated as teachers. And we all know that 50% of our evaluation is based on student achievement, and that's based on some assessment somewhere. Well, we have the opportunity to write that assessment. That's what we're going to do. This assessment could be used on your rubric to show your growth. In a lot of places around the nation, and I know around the state, teachers don't get to write the assessment. You don't get to be involved. So this is a good opportunity for us to actually write the assessment, know what we're supposed to teach, know what's going to be tested, and then it's up to us to have good instruction and do those kind of things. So our work today is to write that assessment. And that's a good, that's a that's a great opportunity that's not happening nowhere I've heard of in work doing this work. Now I know by bringing up Senate 191 and evaluations, you know, we get all these emotions that so with this, I decided I'm going to teach you my new favorite game. <laughs> my new favorite game is Massively Multiplayer Thumb Wrestling. Okay. Um, this was invented by a group, it's an artist collective in Austria called Monochrome. And I've adapted this from a TED Talk. Um, in this game, I'm going to need, first of all, to teach you, I need some volunteers. I need four volunteers to come up to you very quickly. Quick, quick, four volunteers. Mark Jones, there you go. Okay. So to start, you guys are here are pretty aware of uh, uh, standard thumb wrestling, okay? So you go one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb more and you wrestle, and then Mark Wheaton because you know, super competitive, you guys know that. So I'm going to big hands, okay? So we're in the gamer generation now, okay? Whether you like it or not, our students are gamers. Most of you are probably gamers. If you play Candy Crush, you're a gamer. If you play fantasy football, you're a gamer. So you guys are gamers, and there's a billion gamers in the world today. So instead of doing that, we're going we're gonna to make this more exciting because this is too boring. So we're going to add a couple thumbs. Let's add some more thumbs. Okay, so now we've got three thumbs, and now we've got four or five thumbs. So now we can wrestle, and you can see this all going on, and as we go, okay, now, now we'll stop. The, one, of the, one of the main rules is uh, no violence. Um, the way you win is you're the first person to pin someone down when you're in a group like this. So that's how you win, you're the first person to put it down. So, if you play this game with me, okay, and you, you play with me, I can promise you that you will experience 10 positive emotions in 60 seconds. You're going to experience creativity, contentment, awe, wonder, excitement, curiosity, pride, surprise, love, relief, and joy. So, we all have our hands together. Here, would you guys get in that little note just before there? Now, one thing I notice is you guys have extra thumbs. So bring in your other hands on top and start a new one up there. And this is what you would do if you have four people in the room. But what if we had more people in the room and we wanted to make a bigger note? Okay? So now, take your hands. Take your hands and let go of the top one. Reach your hand out. And now you can reach in and join another node. Oh. Okay? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to connect the whole room in one big node. Okay? So you'll be in little groups like this, and then you'll reach back with your other hand, and it'll be in another group. So you'll be going with both hands. That's what we're going to do right now. And if you do it, you're going to experience these 10 emotions, and we'll talk about that in a minute. 
So, I'm going to give you 60 seconds to get the note. You need to set your top down. Stand up is the best way to do it.
you guys were definitely surprised when we said go and you felt like both your hands going and you weren't quite sure what to do. It's, it's surprising that that happened. There was relief. You got to stand up and move around. That's some good relief. You didn't have to just sit and listen. Joy. There was, I didn't see a single face that wasn't smiling in this room. So we had a whole room full of joy. Awe and wonder. If you think about what happened, we were all connected in one big group. Every teacher in the San Jose Valley connected in one big group, physically connected for more than 60 seconds. That's pretty awesome and that's pretty amazing. And that brings us to the last one. And you're thinking, love. I didn't feel much love in here. Well, the body lets off a hormone called oxytocin. And when you let off oxytocin, you bond with the people around you. It's just what happens. So, I want to tell you all now, you are biochemically primed to love each other today and to do amazing work. So, it's all up to the biochemistry now. That's where you're headed. So, as we go do our work today, one thing I want to leave you with is that in a process like this, you're going to get what you give. If you, if you don't give, you're not going to get anything. If you work hard and give, you're going to get something out of it. And one way to think about that is to think of it as, what's one thing I can do today that's going to benefit my students? And if you think of that and you do just one thing, you've benefited from this whole event and this whole project that's been going on. So make sure you go in, do some good work, and I want to tell you thank you for letting me teach you my favorite player drum wrestling. Thank you very much.